Hey, what's up? It's Greg from Fisherman's Headquarters, and today is Saturday, September 25th. I'm down here on the bay side of Ship Bottom, here to share a fish report update for you guys for this weekend. Uh, the mullet run right now is in full swing. It's great to see. Uh, lots of mullet pushing around the local area. Uh, most of that action is going to be in the inlet on the north end and also the south end. Uh, reports of bluefish have been good. Reports of weak fish have been good. And also reports of some striped bass are getting better. Uh, just today, this, this afternoon, this evening here, uh, Dan D, fish head uh, team member and alumni, uh, just reported in catching a really nice striped bass, kind of the biggest fish we've heard of in, uh, in recent days, and recent weeks. Um, biggest striped bass we've heard in local waters in a long time, uh, 40 incher. Uh, just got that on a smack of popper just a short while ago. Uh, good to see these quality fish starting to show up as these days get shorter. And as these days get colder, we'll see more and more quality striped bass showing up in our area as the run progresses into the fall season. Uh, with fall here, I'm happy to uh, introduce some uh, events coming up here. The Long Beach Island Surf Fishing Tournament kicks off uh, next weekend, uh, October 9th, Saturday. Um, just today was the Long Beach Island Fishing Club's World Series of Surf Fishing. It's the 74th annual. Uh, one day surf fishing event sanctioned by the ASAC Surf Fishing uh, Association. Uh, great to see we had uh, over 200 anglers fishing and uh, over, I believe it was 300 fish, I think 374 fish total caught today uh, from those tournament anglers fishing the Long Beach Island surf. Uh, the majority of those catches were weak, uh, were uh, kingfish and blow, uh, bluefish. However, there are other species to be caught. Uh, if you are looking at the surf and target some fish those would be the two primary species uh live blood worms or fish bites for the kingfish uh live or cut or stripped out or whole uh mullet fresh mullet uh for the bluefish would be your best bet uh there's definitely some striped bass around i uh, had a report of a couple being caught on some lures uh customer sent in a photo of one on sp minnow just a day or so ago also fishing a bucktail would be a good choice or some metal lips uh mullet like Lures would be your best bet to target striped bass. Uh, as far as the bay side goes, uh, schoolie bass are gonna be up on the sod banks. Um, some better fish should hopefully be showing as the days go on, like I mentioned. Um, if you're looking to get some action on the bay side, weak fishing's been phenomenal. I uh, actually heard of a, a, a promising report from a number of anglers today. Uh, some really good weak fish action, Barnegat Inlet. I heard that reported in uh, from local angler Paul, also Salone, and a couple other people sent some messages in. So it's great to see uh, also some weak fish out in the open waters of the ocean. Um, if you were looking to get out and do some fishing, I would suggest uh, in the bay side targeting weak fish or blowfish. Uh, blowfish reports have been very good. For those you're going to anchor up, uh, fish some clam chum, small pieces of clam on a small hook, uh, or fish a small piece of squid. Uh, some people also use the fish bites for blowfish too. Uh, open Barnegat Bay areas, uh, any kind of hole, even back here in the mid aisle where I am on the bay side of Ship Bottom, uh, right here you could be fishing for blowfish, uh, have a good crack at them. Uh, there were some snapper reports here just not so long ago. I uh, haven't heard reports in the recent days, but I would think you got a pretty good uh, shot at, at some snapper blues during the day here on the Ship Bottom Surf City Bay side. Um, at night, there's definitely some striped bass roaming around here, the lights, the docks, whether you're in the mid island, uh, north end, south end, anywhere in between, even the west sides of the bay. Um, if you guys are looking to stay tuned here uh, throughout the entire season, check us out, uh, fishinglbi.com blog. I try to get updated as, soon, as, as often as possible. Um, hopefully I do at least, my, my goal is to do like one a week. Um, hopefully I can get, you know, a few a week throughout the entire fall season. Uh, definitely stay tuned to our Instagram and Facebook pages. Um, Instagram story is probably the best spot for quick easy updates. Um, we try to throw a lot of information up there, whether it's bait updates, um, whether it's fish report updates, whether it's, uh, you know, customers and friends of the shop that are sharing some photos and tagging us. Uh, so I encourage you, if you are fishing, you want to share, uh, definitely tag us in your posts, um, send us messages. We'd be glad to share that, whether it's here on the videos. Um, since I do these on the fly, it's kind of hard to give out names and photos and all that stuff. It's, I don't have a script pre-written. Uh, but the, definitely the the, uh, the the written blog that I throw up takes a lot of time, so I can't do that many of them, but I'll try to get you in there um, as much as possible throughout the entire fall season. So I appreciate all the good feedback. Uh, just today I had probably a dozen or two dozen anglers, uh, customers in the shop that were kind of giving me a high five and the thumbs up for uh, doing the reports. So I'm going to try to keep these going as much as I can, um, as, as, as you know, often as I find free time to, to scoot out and try to get these down for you. Um, so I appreciate all the positive feedback. Best of luck fishing this fall. Stop by Fisherman Tech Orders. Love to help you out. Catch them up. One thing I did not mention that I definitely want to share with you guys is uh, we've got Tropical Storm Teresa out there off uh, kind of the, coming up above Bermuda there. 
Um, also got a Hurricane Sam uh, kind of scooting up above the Caribbean, um, sort of heading towards us, gonna hopefully hook up and do the recurve like the classic um, hurricanes do. Uh, that being said, I just wanna mention both of those because there's a current swell in the water right now. Uh, maybe if you've been fishing recent days, you've uh, witnessed a little more uh, energy in the ocean. Um, if you are fishing the jetty, you must keep your wits about you, especially if you're fishing, uh, say, the middle and end stretch. Um, it, it's, it's a great spot to be fishing right now because the, the bait's moving um, for bluefish, um, for striped bass, definitely for tog, definitely for triggers and sheep's head uh, for the rest of this month, September, and also all of October, definitely a great spot to fish. But you must be very, very safe out in those rocks. Um, with that being said, you got some energy right now. I'd say we got to kind of surf in the, say, three foot range. Um, down the bay side, so I can't really show you that. Uh, but expect an incoming uh, reinforcing swell tomorrow, uh, maybe three to four foot range, long period. Uh, and then we'll have a two to three foot-ish range throughout the uh, the week here ahead of us. Uh, and then later on, it looks like next weekend, a much, much more, um, more, more swell, uh, much, much larger, more powerful swell from Hurricane Sam. Uh, right now, the surf forecast is calling more in like the three to five, maybe five to seven foot range. So be on the lookout for that. Um, definitely want to keep your wits about you when you're on the rocks. Uh, because of the long period nature of the swell, uh, the swells are spaced out. So you may think everything's cool. They turn your back and uh, one creeps up, a little sneaker set creeps up and catches you off guard. Um, heard a report today that a uh, guy got knocked up pretty good on the rocks. Um, so definitely, you know, be safe. Uh, make sure you got your corkers on. If you don't have corkers, stop by our shop, get corkers. Uh, you always want to have those cleats on for the utmost safety. Uh, as far as the fish report goes out there, I've had some really good action with bluefish in the jetty uh, for a number of days. Uh, striped bass fishing is pretty good. I'm not going to say it's great, but there are striped bass around to be caught off the jetty uh, in the inlet. Uh, weak fishing, like I mentioned earlier, definitely good action here uh, this morning on weak fish. Maybe they'll stick around. Uh, maybe that's a little bit of a hint that the bay side weak fish are starting to move out because we're here in the, in the inlet and also in the ocean. Uh, maybe they're doing their exit. Uh, I'll have to wait and see how that pans out. Uh, but definitely the tog fishing has been on fire um I'd, I'd say anglers consistently reporting 20 to 40 to 50 fish um a day all shorts uh it seems like catching a keeper is hard to come by um but if you are dialed in you are fishing the right holes and you are putting your time in and you kind of got your stuff together uh, i think you'll find a keeper too uh, i definitely know of a couple keepers that were caught uh angler on the jetty today said an angler next to him had two keepers uh he had none uh heard a number of reports from anglers today i heard some anglers even had up to uh 50, 60, 80 fish um, catches. Obviously, it's all being released because they're short. Uh, so know the regs, know what's going on. Um, if you are catching shorts, you gotta, you gotta grind through them, keep fishing, uh, find those nooks, crannies, find those holes, um, see what you can do. Definitely wanna be fishing green crab, Asian crab, um, pieces of crab. Some people even use blue claws um, and uh, sand fleas. Those would be kind of the best baits. Uh, currently, right now, at the time of this report, we are sold out of green crabs. Our delivery on Thursday never came. Uh, it was a bummer definitely kind of let us down but that's part of the uh part of the business um we've got uh live sand crabs um mole crabs uh, sand fleas whatever you want to call them they're in stock right now uh they are definitely working uh, not the best for tog but they do work um definitely really good for sheep's head and triggers as well as uh, fluke which is closed um so if you want to get dialed in you want to get up there and get some fish stop by fisherman's headquarters have a great day Ooh.